Hello, St. Lambert Altar Servers. Father Higgerty here, your pastor. Uh, just giving you a little instructional video on how to serve Mass here at the parish with COVID-19. So I hope you enjoy this instructional video. If you have any questions, certainly ask me or ask the sacristans. God bless you and know my prayers. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Please be seated now for the Liturgy of the Eucharist. So the altar shares go over like normal. You're going to find that for a Mass with COVID and the safety precautions, many things are all the same. The altar servers will bring over the book and the chalice like normal together. See the hands are folded as normal. I'll bow to the deacon and then they'll go over and get the other gold bowls called the patents, also known as the saboria. They'll bring them over. The head bow. The father will come over. Shares of the water and the wine. Father says the prayers are on bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Now they go over for the washing of hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed God. Bowl, towel, water, washing of hands. Wash hands, and the last thing they're going to do, they go back over. And now the server that was holding the bowl will grab this here, the table, and bring it over to the altar set it right over there on the side of the altar. You can see. Okay, then we'll move into the Holy Holy, at which time the servers will begin moving. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven. You can see, during that time you'll grab the table, and you'll bring the table over right there, and then he'll get ready to kneel down at the end of the Holy Holy. Go ahead. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, will receive Holy Communion. After he's received the precious blood, then the extraordinary minister of Holy Communion will come on up. And she has her mask on now, but she'll take her mask off to get ready to receive Holy Communion. This time, Father purifies his hands. And he gives Holy Communion to the deacon. Deacon himself will purify his hands, and then the deacon will go over to the gym to bring Holy Communion to those in the gym in the back of the church, and then Father will bring Holy Communion to the extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. The body of Christ. And he'll go over and bring communion to the altar servers, and the minister she puts her mask back on. The body of Christ. Bows and comes over here to. And the ablution table over here where there's hand sanitizer, she dips her hands inside of the bowl over there. After the altar servers have received Holy Communion, they go two different places. The one goes and stands behind the table, and the other one comes up over here and grabs the other table and brings it down and sets it right next to Father over here, nice and close. Father and up against the up against the stair. 
and then communion will go on. If Father were somehow to touch someone's hand, uh, he would then put the ciboria down on the table and he would purify his hands, dipping his hands in the holy water first and then drying them on the purificator and then doing the sanit sanitizing. So if there's one altar server, this is what they'll do. They'll receive Holy Communion first. After they receive Holy Communion, they'll walk back up the stairs and they'll get the other ablution table out of the altar and take the other ablution table and bring it down here to the front, right next to Father. Because Father will be right in the middle. Just like that. Perfect. Then after, you see she walked behind Father and back over here. And she's standing right behind the table, right there with her hands folded beautifully. Then after uh, those who receive communion all on this side of the church, when it's all finished, then uh, she'll pick up the table and walk straight across, like so, and put the table right over there. And she'll stand there with her hands folded and just be attentive to any needs. After communion is finished, she will leave that table and come over here to this table and pick that up and put it back up in the sanctuary next to the credence table. You might be, it might be a little bit, uh, be a little bit careful when you're walking up the steps. I always like to, to walk tippy toed and pigeon toed when I'm, when I've got my, my vestments on when I'm walking up steps. And after that, then the altar server will get the water ready and stand by the side of the altar for Father, because Father will be up there purifying uh, the vessels up by the altar there. So, and that's it. That's if there's one person. That's how it goes. Okay, as communion gets done, the altar server comes and gets the book, like it normally does. And then our extra and diminished holy communion over here is done, so she brings over the saboria to the deacon like normal. And then uh, she'll uh, purify her fingertips now. And the other altar server will grab this table and bring it on up. And she'll place it over where the candles normally would be in the sanctuary. The other altar server has gotten ready with the, uh, the water. Deacon puts Jesus back in the tabernacle. And you can see the other altar server joined the one that's holding the water. I'm standing waiting. And everything's basically just like normal here. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly ask the sacristans or myself. God bless you. St. Lambert, pray for us.